Right, today is pretty sunny and I think it's the only sunny day of the week. Um, I've got a guy called Chris, Chris Hoyle, he's popping over and I think he's coming in as Westy because he wants to try out a couple of parts that I have in my garage uh, to see if he can fix his heater. I'm going to just put the cob on just to give it a good run or maybe the Weber and just uh, get that fired up whilst I'm doing a couple of jobs. I've got builders around the house today so I'm thinking if I put some food on that might encourage them to uh, to carry on working at the pace they're doing so I can keep the keep the troops fed. Good to see you Chris, how are we? How are you doing UK? Yeah, yeah. Gifts? Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> so, I've got traditional real Lancashire <laughs> Eccles cakes. You get it? <laughs> Excellent. Thought, it's got to go with the broom, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put the cupper on, eh? Oh, oh man, on. so nice to see a clean Westie. Still liking it then? At the moment, yeah. At the moment? Well, it might have to go with the house move on the horizon. Really? Yeah. Oh we'll shit. We'll see how things pan out. Like um, to help fund the new house? Yeah. Yeah. It's a tiny Westie. Whoever, whoever, whoever buys that is, is, has got a very nice clean Westie. Rupi, you're pretty embarrassing, you know. When people turn up with the vans and you just <laughs> make yourself feel at home. Right, we're, uh, we've got the SeaTac on the heater and we're going to hopefully fire it up. Chris has changed the glow plug from one of uh, an old piece of kit I had in the garage lying around. See you later Chris! <laughs> That is one of the nicest Westies I've seen in a long time and uh, Chris came over to try and fix his heating and I think I think we've got it sorted I've sent him on his way with uh, one of my spare heaters so we can use that for parts and see if he can get it running with the factory fitted petrol heater lovely right come on then Rupert you come he's gone now he's gone Where's Chris gone? I like that van, I think. Friendship. It is probably one of the most important words that we use at Chef Campers, and that's because Chef Campers is built on a network of friends. Um, and the very, very first person I ever spoke to and introduced to Chef Campers was a guy called Mike Jones. Now Mike Jones um, was my best man, I was his best man. Um, him and his wife Bex, um, I've known Bex for 16 years, maybe longer actually, maybe 20 years. And um, Mike I've known since infant school, we went to school together and we just you know, we hung out together constantly everywhere. And what's really great is at the weekend we were chatting to Mike and Bex and I've got a little baby called Albie and we were just chatting to them and we talked to them about kind of what's happening and the move and they're asking about progress. And um, they were commenting on last week's video, which was when I was talking about the breakdown we had on our honeymoon in France and how we were fine after that breakdown. But if we were to have a breakdown like that again now, it'd be a completely different situation because we wouldn't be able to just go back home and wait for the van to be fixed. And that would be the worst of our problems. If our van was to break down like that again, we would lose our home. We would lose somewhere to sleep for the night especially if it has to go into a garage. And that is a concern because we have breakdown cover, but the breakdown cover doesn't cover us to be able to you know, find alternative accommodation whilst it's being fixed. Um, not to the extent that we need it to. So we were speaking to Mike and Bex and they basically said, look, the guy that works on your camper van, Simon, who owns the Synchro Ambulance that you might've seen a couple of weeks ago, he's only like an hour away from theirs, or 45 minutes away from theirs. So they said to us, look, if you ever have that situation, just get towed back to, to Simon's place and um, we'll come and pick you up and you can come and stay at our house uh, for as long as you need to. And um, 
you know, whilst loads of friends always offered like nice stuff to us, that is something that takes away a huge proportion of the concerns anyone should have if they're looking to pursue van life full time. So if you're looking to move into your van, what on earth are you gonna do if your van completely breaks and you can't stay in it anymore? I mean, like literally, what are you gonna do? Um, can you just crash on your friends and family? Are they are they open to that? Have they said that that's okay? Or are you just expecting? So, you know, for us, having that opportunity there for us means we can really focus on having a good time. And, um, you know, if we break down then, I guess we just get to spend more time with our friends. <laughs> <laughs> we get to we get to go back home and we get to go move into their house for a bit. They've got a couple of dogs and little Albie. We get to spend some time with them, so um, it's not the end of the world. And once we've you know now we've got that security in place, I feel great about it. So that was really good. And Mike and Bex, thank you very much. I'm going to put a picture of us four together now. That was a really really good night. We got too drunk that night, but it was really good. Um, so yeah, so I guess in terms of the house renovation, we are very, very close now. We have got an extra bedroom in, we've got walls plastered, we've got walls painted, we have got a kitchen ceiling that's going in that's being plastered on Saturday. We've had all the wiring, the electronics done. Um, we have cleared a lot of the front yard. We've done brickwork for the entrance. I still need to sort out the front door and maybe replace it and replace the porch. I don't know yet, I need to work that one out this weekend. But we are very, very close now to having the house on the market, which means we can really start planning the camper van element of this series, which is what equipment are we going to take? Are we going to be taking a Cobb barbecue, a Kadak barbecue, a Weber Go Anywhere, um, cast iron cooking, our Asado crosses, um, some new stuff that I'm looking at as well. Um, what are we going to carry? Where is it going to fit? We want to put solar panels on the roof. We don't want to carry too much weight. We don't want to be overweight on the van. We want to keep it as light as possible. So I have to be really, really strict. And this is the hardest part about moving from a house to a camper van. It's not getting rid of your possessions in your house because I've actually really, really enjoyed that. And if we ever move back into a house, I think definitely minimalism is something that we would, we would opt for. Um, but the hardest part about this is deciding what are you gonna carry on your van? Because our space is so, so limited and it's important to us that we have a decent quality of life. So I don't wanna be moving bags left and right and you know, I want everything to be in its place. The only thing loose in the van should be our bedding and pillows and everything else needs to either be in a cupboard or in a box. And I don't wanna put boxes on the roof. I'm only gonna be using my front luggage rack for the Westie. So I'm gonna have a storage box on the back and that's it. So we need to be really, really strict about what we're gonna carry. And that's probably gonna be the hardest part because I wanna be able to take a few different cooking things. But I guess we can rotate and swap around. But um, yeah, that's gonna be the next stage. So um, um, that's it for now. Um, thank you very much and thanks for sticking with us. Um, the videos when we're on the road are gonna be awesome, I promise you. So it is worth the wait and we'll see you soon. Take care guys, bye bye.